All right, in this video, I'm going to be going over my deck profile for uh, Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragons. Um, they're one of my favorite archetypes, and I just recently finished getting uh, my deck completed without proxies because, you know, I'm, I'm a poor college student, so I don't have money to buy cards. But then I received some money from Epic Games, so I had money to buy cards. Anyways, so let's get on with the uh, deck profile here. So obviously, we're going to start out with your three copies of... Uh, your Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon. He's kind of like the main guy in the deck. He, you know, he allows you to extend your plays uh, whenever a an Odd Eyes monster is destroyed by card effect, and I believe by battle as well. Yeah, battle or card effect. Uh, you can special summon an Odd Eyes monster from either your deck, uh, your hand, or your graveyard uh, once per turn. So that's really good. Uh, he allows you to extend your plays pretty easily. <coughs> Then we got three copies of the OG guy, uh, Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. He is pretty good. He can deal uh, double battle damage when he is attacking. Um, I should know straight up when he's battling, so it doesn't even matter if he's attacking or if somebody's attacking him. Um, and his other, his pendulum effect is pretty good. Uh, during the end phase, you can pop him to, I completely forget what it is. If it's, uh, yeah, you can add one Pendulum Monster with uh, 1,500 or less attack from your uh, deck to your hand, uh, which is pretty good. Um, so a play you can do with that is you can, you know, have this guy in one scale and then this guy in the other scale. End of turn, you pop this. Because an Odd Eyes card is popped by a card effect, you get to summon an Odd Eyes from this, and then you get to add a card uh, from your deck to your hand. So that's that's pretty good. And then we are running three copies of Odd Eyes Persona Dragon. He is uh, unfortunately not a scale seven, so that's a little bit, or not a level seven, so that's a little bit annoying. Um, but he's really good for getting around problematic monsters because he can negate uh, once per turn. You can uh, it's a quick effect. You can target one face-up monster on the field that was special summoned from the extra deck. It has its effects negated until the end of the turn. That's pretty good and. Uh, his pendulum effect. Let's see. Yeah, his pendulum effect's not not as useful, but is he's he's really good for uh, getting problematic monsters, getting around them. Uh, we're playing two copies of Odd Eyes Phantom Dragon. He is pretty good. He is basically your uh, he's he's your guy that you want to use to push through more damage. So basically, if he's in your pendulum zone, if you've got uh, another Odd Eyes in your other pendulum zone, um, you can add 1,200 attack to one of your uh, Odd Eyes monsters when they're battling um, until the end of the turn. And uh, his, pe his monster effect, um, if you've got Odd Eyes cards in your pendulum zone, um, you can deal an additional... Uh, 1200 burn damage for each one um, when he inflicts battle damage, which is pretty good. Run the one copy of Odd Eyes Mirage Dragon. He's really just to protect your dragons. Um, once per turn, when one of your monsters is uh, dis is would be destroyed by uh, battle or card effect, um, it's not destroyed. Um, and he Odd Eyes uh, Lancer Dragon is also sort of a a, a card that does a similar thing. But I'm going with Odd Eyes Mirage Dragon because it's a level 3 and uh, Lancer Dragon is a level 8, which kind of makes it a little bit annoying. So this can this can not only be normal summon, but it can be pendulum summoned, which is really good. Um, running the one copy of Perform Appell Odd Eyes Dissolver. He's basically just used to make your, uh, your fusion monsters. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory there. It's, again, it's an unfortunate level 8. Uh, but that's not really that big of a deal. Uh, you're most of the time not really going to be summoning him anyways. He's mostly going to be used in your pendulum zone um, to get yourself that uh, fusion monster, which is probably Odd Eyes Vortex. Uh, so then we're running three copies of Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm. Um, he's pretty good. Whenever he's normal or special summoned, you can add a Supreme King Gate monster from your uh, deck to your hand, and whenever he's in the graveyard, if you control no monsters, you can special summon him from the graveyard, so that's pretty good. And then obviously we're running the one copy of uh, Supreme King Gate Zero to go with that, uh, just to scale zero, level seven, just, you know, something something to extend your plays with. Uh, 
three copies of Chronograph Sorcerer and the one copy of Time Gazer Magician. Similar effect to the uh, Supreme King Dragon Darkworm, um, where he just kind of like gets that ex extra, you know, extra stuff on the board. Um, Chronograph can pop itself in the Pendulum Zone, or in the Pendulum, yeah, Pendulum Zone to uh, Special Summon or add to your hand. Time Gazer Magician, so it's really helpful if you want to do that and go into your uh, Heavy Metal Foes Electromite play. And then we got a one copy of Zhangke, Zhangke, I don't know how you pronounce that. We got one copy of that. Um, he's useful to go into your uh, Raging Dragon or your Rebellion Dragon because his Pendulum effect is once per turn. Uh, you can target one face-up Xyz monster. On, uh, you control this turn. You can use it as an Xyz material for an Xyz summon using its rank as if it were a level, uh, even if it leaves the field. So that's pretty good. Uh, the play is usually you go something like Odd Eyes Absolute into Odd Eyes Raging, or even you can go probably Odd Eyes Rebellion into Odd Eyes Raging, or Odd Eyes Raging into Odd Eyes Rebellion. Lots of things you can do with that. Um, and obviously we're going to run three copies of Ash, Bla Ash Blossom No Joy. Uh, Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring. Uh, it's, you know, just kind of shut your opponent down a bit. Um, makes it hard for your opponent to play. It's a good card. Onto the spells. We're going to go with, uh, I run three copies of uh, Spiral Flame Strike. Uh, it's useful to search up your deck for any level level 7 um, Odd Eyes monster, which is really good. Uh, the Usually you want to search out your Arc Pendulum, but I mean, if you don't, if you already got that and you don't need another one, you can search out either your uh, Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon or your uh, Odd Eyes Phantom Dragon. Um, pretty, pretty versatile card, and you can also, if you really want to, you can uh, tribute uh, or you can destroy one card on the field if you control an Odd Eyes. Um, so it's got that secondary effect, but it's mostly useful, mostly bleh, mostly used for the search. Uh, so we got three copies of Sky Iris. Sky Iris is really good in this deck. Um, you pop, uh, you can pop a card you control, and you can search your deck for an Odd Eyes card and add it to your hand. Um, also, uh, your opponent can, cannot target uh, Magician, Performa Pal, or Odd Eyes cards in your Pendulum zones. And most of the monsters in this deck are Pendulum mon or uh, Odd Eyes monsters, so they're probably going to be pretty safe. And obviously, we're running the one Terraforming to go alongside that. Um, Say um, again, I dare you, I double dare you, motherfucker, say um, one more goddamn time. So a play you can do with uh, Sky Iris is if you've got an Arc Pendulum in your Pendulum Zone, you, you know, pop probably your other Pendulum Scale maybe, and uh, special summon, summon something off of the uh, Arc Pendulum, and then you also get something to add to your hand, so that's really good. Um, you might want to add something to replace the Pendulum Scale, I don't know, it doesn't, it's, you know, it's situational, obviously. Uh, and then we're, we're running two copies of Duelist Alliance. I don't think three is the right number because this card is very specific with its text. It says, uh, if there is a card in your Pendulum Zone, add one Pendulum Pendulum Monster or Pendulum Spell or Trap card from your deck to your hand. Uh, you can only activate one per turn. So you can't add any card from your deck to your hand with this. Um, you can add pretty much the only cards you can add are Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon and Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon. None of the other Odd Eyes cards you can add because they don't say Pendulum in their name. So we're only running it at two. Uh, Spiral Flame Strike is the much, a much better searcher in the deck. Uh, I'm running three copies of Lure of Darkness. Uh, literally everything except for Ash Blossom and, and Joy Springs is a dark monster in the deck. So there's going to be no problem with banishing one card from your hand to draw two. So it's a pretty, pretty useful card in the deck. And then to round off the main deck, we're running... Uh, Two copies of Dragon Shrine and one copy of Foolish Burial. That's just to dump your um, Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm to the graveyard and you know combo off from there. So that's it for the ex for the main deck, and let's move on to the extra deck. So for the extra deck, we got the one copy of Odd Eyes Raging Dragon, one copy of Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon, and one copy of Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon. These are the three main Odd Eyes Xyz monsters that you're going to want to be running in the deck. Uh, Raging Dragon blows up your opponent's board, hits them for a lot of a lot of stuff in the face. Uh, it's pretty damn good. Uh, Rebellion Dragon, I'm not as familiar with it. It's pretty good, though, if I remember correctly. Uh, let's see. 
You can destroy as many level 7 or lower monsters uh, your opponent controls as possible. Inflict 1,000 damage to your opponent for each card destroyed. If you do, this card can make 3 attacks uh, during each battle phase this turn. If this card uh, in, the, in the monster zone is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can destroy as many cards in your pendulum zone as, as possible. If you do, place this card in your pendulum zone. So yeah, it basically is just, you know, push for a lot of damage. Basically, you just, you know, blow up your opponent's monsters and uh, hit him for a lot of damage. And then he can attack three times, and he's got 3,000 attacks. So he pushes through for a lot of damage, basically. And then Otto's Absolute Dragon, uh, he, he can uh, protect you from attacks. So once per... Is it once per turn, or is it... Let's see. Yeah, when any player's monster declares an attack, you can detach one Xyz material from this card, negate the attack if you do special summon one Otto's from your hand or graveyard. Uh, yeah, it says you can only use each effect once per turn. So if this uh, Xyz summon card is sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one Otto's uh, from your extra deck, except Otto's Absolute. So he's he basically uh, protects protects you from attacks. You know, if, if your opponent's got something you can't deal with and they attack with it, you can you can protect yourself from one attack. Uh, not incredibly useful. Usually it's just, you know, you make Odd Eyes Absolute to go into one of these two, but I mean, it is it is an option. Then we got Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. Uh, we got number 11 Big Eye and Narita the Moral Leader. Uh, Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon uh, is basically just used to burn your opponent out for a lot of stuff. He, he also kind of locks your opponent out because, you know, if you attack them for a bunch of damage, which this deck can do pretty consistently, um, they probably don't have a lot of, of life left, so, you know, every card they play is going to do 500 damage to them. Uh, so that's uh, that's that all adds up pretty quickly, and then they, then they die. Number 11, Big Eye's pretty, pretty, uh, you know, situational, I guess. But you yeah, you don't really make him super often, because there's a lot of, like, really good options in this deck. But, I mean, he can, he can be used to get over problematic monsters. You know, he can just steal them. Uh, Narita the Moral Leader. I play in this deck because I do have three level 6 monsters in the uh, Chronograph Sorcerers, so it is possible to make him. He probably doesn't come up super often, though. Um, but basically, he, he's good for uh, you know dealing with uh, spell or traps. Um, On to the fusion monsters. We only have three. We're running two copies of Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon and one copy of Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. Uh, the Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon, you know, he's, he's probably the guy you're going to be going into most in this deck. Uh, if you go turn one, that is. Um, basically, whenever he, whenever he's summoned, if if your opponent's got an attack position monster, you can bounce it back to their hand, and then uh, once per turn, uh, it's a quick effect. Uh, whenever an opponent activates a card or, or effect, um, you can bounce a uh, a face up pendulum monster from your extra deck back to your deck and negate it. Um, so it's really good, or negate and destroy that card, which is really good. So it basically locks your opponent out from playing the game. Uh, and then Starving Venom Fusion Dragon, you know, just just a pretty good card all around. He uh, gets a lot of attack and gets a cool effect from your opponent, and you know, it's it's not bad. Uh, we got one one uh, Synchro Monster, just the one Odd Eyes Meteor Burst Dragon, and the only reason we don't actually run any tuners in this deck. Well, actually, technically we do, because Ash Blossom Joyous Spring is a tuner. But uh, the only reason this is in the deck is because you can summon him off of Odd Eyes Absolute, and you know, he he's potentially useful. He he. Uh, he locks your opponent out from activating things during, uh, is it during the battle phase or during the damage step? Uh, yeah, during the battle phase. So he locks your opponent out from activating stuff during the battle phase, which is really nice. And then he can also bounce a card um, from your, or he can special summon a card from your, uh, from your pendulum zone to one of your monster zones, which is pretty useful. But that's it for the synchros. We only need the one because, you know, we don't have any tuners. Um, Onto the Link Monsters, we got one copy of Underclock Taker, one copy of Heavy Metal Foes Electromite. These are our Link 2s of the deck. Uh, Underclock Taker allows you to push for more damage. You can basically just uh, target one face-up monster this card points to, and then one face-up monster your opponent controls. The opponent's target loses uh, attack equal to the attack of uh, the target this card points to until the end of the turn. So basically, you point it to one of your big guys and then one of their guys loses loses a bunch of attack and then you hit them for a lot of a lot of stuff um which is pretty useful um heavy metal foes electromite you know he's he's the main he's the go-to link monster of the deck um he basically what he does is when you summon him you can dump a uh pendulum monster from your deck to your extra deck 
and you can target one card, you control and destroy it, uh, and then add a pendulum monster from your extra deck to your hand, and then also whenever, uh, once per turn, when a monster leaves the pendulum zone, you can draw a card. So it's it's actually kind of an insane card. Basically, you you uh, you 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 summon it. You dump something you need to your extra deck. You pop your your pendulum scale, which is most likely an Odd Eyes card, so you get a special summon off of Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon. Um, you add that card back to your hand, and you know usually it'll be like perform a pal, um, Odd Eyes Sorcerer or, or Pendulum the the dude that the I forget what his name is the dude that that fusion summons <laughs> or the uh, Zanky Magician. So then you can put that in your pendulum scale and. You know, you get a draw off of that, you get a uh, card from your deck into your hand, and you get a summon from a Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon. It's it's all around just a really good card. Uh, and then we got the uh, Zephyr Metaltron, we got Decode Talker, and we got one Borlo Dragon. Uh, Zephyr Metaltron, you know, it's pretty good. It, uh, it's got the three arrows down at the bottom, so it allows you to Pendulum Summon a lot of stuff from your extra deck. Uh, really good. And then also once per turn, you can banish it and uh, a, a monster your opponent controls until the end of the turn. Uh, what else does it do? Uh, if it's destroyed by battle or card effect... Or no, if a monster this card points to, a special summon from the extra deck is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can add one monster from your graveyard or face up a uh, pendulum monster from your extra deck to your hand. And then, yeah, you can banish the dude. Um, then we got Deco Talker. I uh, I don't know if I'm gonna keep Deco Talker in the deck. It's kind of just a last thing that I put in there because I didn't know what to put in the deck. Uh, I might throw something else in there. I'm thinking probably Saryuja, um, but I don't have one yet, and I didn't want to buy one until that uh, box. I forget what it's called, like Dual, Dual Devastator or something like that comes out, and then he comes in that box, and then I get a bunch of other stuff. So why buy a, a card that's like half the cost of that box when I can buy that box and get that card as well as a bunch of other useful cards? Um, anyways, Deco Talker, you know, I, I, by now you probably know what he does. He's, he's been around for a while, but he gains 500 attack for each monster he points to. Um, when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets a card you control, um, you can tribute one monster this card points to, negate that activation, and if you destroy the card. Uh, and then Borlo Dragon, you know, he steals your, your opponent's guys. He's, yeah, he's a thief. He steals them and he hits them in the face. He's pretty good. But he doesn't steal them like Big Eye. Or Big Eye, I'm pretty sure Big Eye... Wait, does he steal them like Big Eye? He might steal them like Big Eye. Eh! This is a terrible deck review. Um, oh yeah, no, he... he. Well, he kind of steals them like Big Eye, because Big Eye can't attack on the turn that he steals them. Uh, Borlo Dragon, I believe, can attack. Uh, yeah, and also you can target one face-up card on the field. It loses 500 attack and defense, um, so it's useful to get over problematic monsters. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much the deck in a nutshell. It's uh, it's pretty damn good. Uh, also, I have this absolutely fantastic play mat, as you can see. Um, but yeah, that's that's uh, that's my deck. And uh, please don't yell at me for how terrible this review was. Okay, bye. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this, click here. To see the last video, click over here. And to subscribe to me, click my face up here.